Greetings and salutations, everybody. It is your old upside-down cat who always manages to land right side up. The other cat. See, I don't even have a greeting, and I can't even do it right. I screw it up. It's supposed to be, uh, who is your upside-down cat who always manages to land sunny side up? But you think I can remember that? I can't. doesn't matter. Hey, Greed. I saw you in there, uh early and i'm glad you're aboard now because you know what we got going on today you know what we got going on today um actually let me see if i can do one last thing before i hop in and that's gonna be i'm gonna grab the audio from one two three copy cool and now we're just gonna head down into Row curl. I'm going to toss that audio right here. Paste. Okay. Maybe I'll toss on some, uh, some classical music. Doot, 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 doot. Doot. Let me just make sure that it's... All right, we got some music on. That's good. Let me uh, pump up the volume on that to 15. That's fine. Hey, welcome. It's Pro Curl. Uh, I've, I, I can't say I've never played this, but I have definitely played it only uh, sparse and... We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna we're gonna let the computer. Oh, first we gotta choose our team names. Uh, the red team is gonna be Team Catch Up. Uh, 
1995, everybody. The yellow team is going to be known as Team Mustard. Players, we're going to let the computer control the players. The computer plays both. The rules, uh, we have two options. We have Canadian and World, and let's face it, I'm Canadian. So let's play with Canadian. Uh, the options here, the ice is going to be normal speed. The curl is going to be normal speed. The ends, we can choose between eight to ten ends. Actually, we can choose one end if we wanted. Uh, eight is a relative short game and ten is a relative long game. Let's play eight today. And allow undos, not even. And with that said, everybody, let's get into Pro Curl 1995. We're going to choose the hammer on this one, and uh, we're going to flip this coin. Oh, fantastic. Yellow is one to flip the computer. We'll take the hammer. You go, computer. Now let me just toss in a few more things here. So on the left side of the screen, in this area, you'll see the first rock being thrown, and that's uh, the red team here has the rocks. And then it will come over onto the left side of the screen. I guess that was the right side. The left side of the screen will show the placement. So the first, the first stone, first rock thrown by red, Team Ketchup through a guard. Over to Team uh, Mustard. And we're going to see how Team Mustard fares. Team Mustard just throwing a blister right down. Look at that. Look at that rocket. Come over here and we'll see.
Interesting one, too. Mwah! I had to turn it off and on again. There we go. Yes, by all means, June Kamari, if you wanted to pop back in, that'd be great. So, now that we've got technical happening again, let's get back to the game. What did I miss? Currently, whoa, all the rocks are just flying all over the rink. Okay, let's see. Looks like it's uh, Red's Rock, number seven of eight. Once again, I see June Kaomori in the uh, channel. It says that she's muted. June, take a look at your uh, Discord settings and see if you're muted on any of your Discord settings as an option. And if not, well, that's fine too. Red. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it in there, get it in there. So you'll notice that I have scoring in the uh, top right. And currently it looks as if, it looks as if Red will score four. Go team catch up. Team catch up might score four on this one. Go catch up. Here comes Mustard. Another blistering shot. Looks to get rid of that guard out front. Ooh, and just squeezing a bit closer to that button in the center. Red's final rock. You can see the little broom icon up there. All right, Red's throwing it. Trying to disperse what looks to be over on the right side. Ooh. Ooh, just solidifying a little bit more of that center dominancy, but may have backfired. Red may have just thrown yellow in as one point. Here comes yellow. Final rock on yellow. Go Team Mustard. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be two points for Team Mustard on this one. There we go. And one complete. Team Mustard, well done. Now it says that you can't hear me on, stream, on, on, on Discord. I have no idea why that is. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not actually even streaming voice on Discord, am I? Boo doop boop. Boo doop boop. There we go. Maybe, maybe that'll work on Discord. There we go. Okay, I, now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're. I kept muted the whole time because I was like, I don't want to mess this up on stream in front of everybody. <laughs> And you're, uh, you're audible on the game as well. So uh, welcome to the live stream, Jun Kamori. Hi, everyone. I'm here now. Uh, Uber famous international YouTube star, <laughs> Jun Kamori. <laughs> so uh, you were watching the first, uh, first end. Uh, Team Mustard seems to be up by two over Team Ketchup. Uh, any thoughts on this thrilling match so far? This whole time I've just been troubleshooting. I have no thoughts. <laughs> I have well, none. <laughs> I've been troubleshooting too, so we're all good. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll I'll keep translation chain going. I'm so scared to click on watch stream with the fear that it's just gonna kick me again. I don't know why it's been doing this, but it it did this to me the other day too. Uh, it. I don't know. It it didn't seem to do anything until I personally tweaked, uh, got out of the Discord and got back in on my own stream, no less. So it could be any number of reasons. Well, I'm going to try it. And if I die, you'll know why. I'm going to hit watch stream. Okay. All right. If it doesn't work, yeah, I can always come back here. 
Oh, she's dead. <laughs> I guess we know why. <laughs> she died oh so instantly. You can tell she's a Team Mustard fan. Hey, we were just talking about you. Work? <laughs> Welcome back, June Kamori. <laughs> yeah, so we're only doing eight ends this round. I had the option of doing between eight to ten uh, ends for this match. And, Ooh, okay. and I decided to go for the short route because I didn't know how long ten would take. Look at that blister. Mustard with the blister taking out the guard. I have to open up your YouTube live stream in a separate window and mute it so I can actually see what's going on. If I could do that, I would do that as well. I got it. Don't worry. There's a number in the middle and uh of this stream and it shows how long every shot takes to get down to the other end i don't know why that is maybe it's a speedometer maybe red trying to set up another guard ketchup laying down some condiment rules i don't know i'm trying to I'm trying to i'm trying to come up with as many ketchup and mustard Puns for a curling as I can think, but I'm I'm troubled. You're doing your best, and that's all that matters. What's Grandpa doing? He's doing his best. He's doing his best. Looks like Mustard's trying to not catch up out with that one. Oh, not bad. Well done, Mustard. Mustard in the kitchen with the broom. Like the clue? Like the clue movie? I, I, I have limited resources here. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> There's ketchup. Ketchup chucking another rock. As if they own the house. I don't think I can properly commentate on this because of the sheer amount of delay between us sitting in this call and talking oh, versus what I, I get to see on the YouTube streaming side. And it's, this is great. This is a great time. Well, well, if I didn't, aren't I, I'm streaming on the uh, Discord. No, but the second I click it, it's, I'm going to die again. Oh, I see. I see. That's what keeps punching me out. Oh. So just, you're just like mustard and ketchup. So you're just here for the yucks. Kinda, yeah. I mean <laughs> I can't I can't possibly commentate when it's this much lag in between. So I'm just I'm here. I'm comedic relief, I guess. Gotcha, yeah. What's your uh what's your favorite uh food type that involves ketchup and or mustard? Favorite food type? Yeah. Do you like hot dogs, sausages, hamburgers? What, what do you put ketchup and mustard on that's your favorite food? I would probably say hot dogs, but mm. I don't eat them in the quote-unquote American traditional sense. Mm. I, I, I like to cut them up and cook them in like Japanese-style bento because I think it's bento. more fun. Yeah, because I eat it with rice and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. You put ketchup and mustard on bento? No, I don't. I mean, normally I have ketchup for dipping. I don't really like mustard unless it's honey mustard. Honey mustard is so good. Honey mustard slaps. I hope Team Honey Mustard wins. <laughs> honey mustard. <laughs> oh man, Team Team Mustard's just clearing house here. By the way, that's actually called the house. I don't know why. This is a house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's up to building code. Sorry. <laughs> it's definitely not up to building code. There are some serious Scottish engineers who have to pay for their <laughs> for their engineering crimes on this one. Uh, quick shout out to uh, Otter Kate who came in and helped me set this up with rules and scoring and size and everything like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I asked her... Uh, about half an hour before the stream is this legible does this make any sense and 
she gave me a thumbs up so i i ran with it and then i had all all the problems I had all every the problem problems. under the every sun. problem under the sun all right here's mustard with another blister trying to take out the guard on the left side backfires red's just flowing through the middle and is out of the house just like a teenager in college <laughs> sneaking out from the back window no getting evicted by the parent <laughs> jesus christ and they're the best of us or you're uh Happy sunday everybody <laughs> you're, you're going to college and you're, you're you're gonna be there for a couple of months that's great here let me pack your luggage for you <laughs> Oh, boy. Fare thee well. Have a good time at college. Boom. Doors locked. Oh, my God. Change the locks. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of throwing out some experience here. Man, oh, man. Oh, it skips final rock on yellow. We're coming into the end of the second end. Oh, boy. What's uh, What's yellow going to do here? Yellow's already up by two points, as long as absolutely nothing happens. Oh, it's a shot down the middle, trying to put one in the button, I believe. I was going to say, I don't think Ketchup is going to get on the board at this point. Yeah, Ketchup is relegated to the, to, the, to the disposal bin. I don't know, what do we got here? <laughs> Ketchup's just going to sit with the vinegar. I guess so. All right, Red has an opportunity to at least knock some of the rocks out, if not all the rest. Oh, I think Louie wants to join the vinegar and the, and the ketchup. <laughs> Red blister. Well, Red took out uh, Team Mustard and managed to score a single point. Dang. Way to go. Must Team Mustard is winning after two ends, two to one. This is thrilling. It's curling. It's great. This is exactly what I was hoping for when I set this stream up. 100%. Yeah. The great Canadian sport of Scottish curling. I I still don't understand how that all worked out. Why are you, why are you bringing the Scots into this so much? Cuz they 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 invented it. They did? Yeah, Scotland invented curling and golf. I did not know that. I mean, I knew about the golf, but not the curling. Yeah, totally a Scottish uh, invention. And in fact, if you were to look at the interior of a curling rink, all of the visual uh, adornments are 110% complete Scottish. Really? Yeah. Huh. They... They fully invented this sport. That's why I got the kilt on today. Wearing, oh. That's why I'm wearing the kilt and the sporin, yeah. That makes more sense. There we go. We got uh We got a guard with mustard. We got a secondary guard with uh ketchup. Oh yeah. I almost said relish, but there's no green third party here. No green third party. No. Yeah. Wouldn't relish that opportunity. Oh my god! Help me I out don't here. I know what I was expecting when I joined this, but all the condiment puns. Yeah, I know. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm about... leaving the door wide open. By the uh, by the sixth inning, I hope that there's a, a like a concession stand open or something. Ooh, ketchup! Just throwing that right into the button. Oh wow! Way to go, ketchup! Translation Chan has no idea what's going on at this point. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm not mad at them. Whatever. Yeah. It happens. Translation Chan, first of all, doesn't understand curling. Secondly, doesn't understand my accent. It's already hard enough. <laughs> Translation Chan gave up. Oh, mustard clears the guard with uh, ketchup. Now, ke what's ketchup going to do here? I'm... I'm a little bit interested and fascinated with this entire 1995 program. The fact that they were 
somehow able to make a curling simulator. I still find it hilarious that we're just watching the two bots play this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for everyone watching, uh, I tried playing this, actually playing it the other night, and I couldn't. And I gave up. Sounds about right. Ooh. It's a nice little configuration in the middle for Team Ketchup. Also, I, I named the other two teams the other night. What did I name them? The Killers versus Eating Yellow Snow or something like that? Yeah, I think you did the Killers for Red and then Yellow Snow <laughs> for, for the Yellow Team. Because I'm 12. <laughs> I figured a ketchup and that mustard was a little bit more traditional. Slightly more appropriate. A little more palatable than blood and piss got it a little more palatable <laughs> shut up ketchup and mustard yes then blood and piss thank you very much wasn't going there but thank you june Kamari, youtuber thanks for super showing classy up super classy and elegant super classy a lady of her time <laughs> <laughs> you can't see stage we have a third commentator, but I don't know if he'll say any words. He's just making a lot of noise. Just like regular commentators. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Third Commentator? You're He is enraptured by the screen. He's having the best time watching this. <laughs> As well. I think he wants should. to hit the little, like, dots. If, uh... If, if commentator Louie is so engaged, I should, uh... I should toss on my little mouse here. Oh, oh. Let's just watch a oh. live bird cam feed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then he will actually go insane. Bird cam. What's Team Blue Jay going to do against Team Cardinal? Find out. <laughs> actually, what's a yellow bird? I didn't even think about putting in uh, Cardinal as Team Red and Yellow Bird as Team Yellow. You mean like a canary? Yeah, okay. I was thinking Finch, but Canary works. Team Cardinal versus Team Canary. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Better than mustard and ketchup. What was I thinking? I don't know. I think you're just hungry. I am totally hungry. I can, <laughs> I can just fully hungry. justify that, yeah. Man, this is just like watching actual curling. It's almost as exciting. You would consider this exciting. I mean, amongst other words I'd use. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and team, team Mustard had a really nice shot there. Took out two of Team Ketchup's rocks. Translation, Chan, you the real MVP. They're really lifting their weight, doing their best. <laughs> uh... I have no idea what Team Ketchup is doing with this throw. Just trying to get it in the middle, maybe. Not even setting up a guard, just trying to score. Just attempting. Just doing their best. You go, Team Ketchup. So, okay, there's uh, there's the first person, who's the skip, and then there's the second person, the third, and the fourth. And that's usually how it goes, I think. And then you got the fifth, and then the... Minor chord in the major lift. <laughs> something, something, something. I don't know. What do I know about curling? Oh, that's a rocket. Team Mustard blistering Team Ketchup out of the house. I feel like it's just more efficient to have Otter Kate here because at least she knows what I curling know, is. I know, right? Just, uh, and you know what she's doing? You know what Otter Kate is doing right now? She's actually she's watching real curling. Oh, you know what? I don't blame her. <laughs> She's actually getting genuinely entertained. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. At least you can actually see the brooms in IRL curling. We don't get the luxury of the brooms in the simulator. <laughs> we can still yell hurry hard. I don't think the audience wants to hear me yell hurry hard. Oh my god. I'm not sure. I, I'm doing well on the hurry hard part. Why do I not have 
For some reason, I didn't even have the YouTube chat open on here. Here we go. You are not hurrying, nor are you doing hey, it hard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a little <laughs> mental gymna verbal gymnastics you pulled there at the very end. You stuck the landing. Way to go. <laughs> I got there at the end. You got there at the Remember, end. Remember, I'm, I'm a lady. <laughs> I'm the lady of utmost elegance. I would never say elegance. anything unbecoming on somebody else's stream. There you go. We can hurry hard all we want, but ultimately, ultimately it comes down to ketchup and mustard, and let's all remember that. Oh, here's I the final rock. I think commentator rock. Louis will be leaving us. Oh, there he goes. Uh, I'm sure he'll I don't be back. Him. Curling's thrilling. Maybe. All right, here's the final shot for uh, Team Mustard, which seems to have a fair dominance here. They they don't have to do nothing. They just have to. They just have to make sure that they ah oh, they totally fuck the dog on that one. Oh, well. You suck. All right. <laughs> such, such an optimistic <laughs> commentator. <laughs> All right. The score is now tied because uh, Team Mustard shat the bed on that last one. I really beefed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up by two. All I need to do is just put this right in the center. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> well... I mean, if it's if it's a game that originated in Scotland, I'm pretty sure there was uh, quite a quite a colorful set of language that originated as well. Oh yeah, even more colorful than what we're doing right now. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're tame compared to actual curling. I'm tame now. Watched until we get to round eight, and then we're just losing our minds. <laughs> well, I'm I've I've expended all of my condiment puns, and it was only the first. Well, first end was troubleshooting mm -hmm. second end was expending condiment puns third ending was us going off the, the start rails. of foul language <laughs> the beginning of foul language we only got five more it's a good thing i didn't choose all ten eh yay hey. i heard a beep a beep yeah, apparently one rock connected with the other, and that actually registered sound on this 1995 game. Oh. Uh, way to go, audio. Pulling your weight. Once again, shout out to Translation Chan. Doing your best. Love to see it. <laughs> I imagine there's actually a real English to Japanese transcriber furiously trying to keep up. Just trying their best. Just trying. I have the uh, I have the background music on, but it's so low it it's almost inaudible. So it's basically just the Tethercat and June Kamori show at this point. I was gonna say I have absolutely nothing, and it definitely <laughs> feels like I'm in our like our own little echo chamber. <laughs> There's elections coming up, so Team Red versus Team Yellow isn't exactly uh, that bad if you're going to have your echo chamber. I'd rather it just be ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Why Who? can't it just be ketchup and mustard? Who do you think should rule the government? Should it be Team Ketchup or Team Mustard? <laughs> Let's settle this with curling. <laughs> settle it with curling. I think taxes should be raised. I think inflation is dangerous. Wham, slam, hurry hard. <laughs> and team Ketchup is actually... I, I think Team Ketchup is the more experienced and qualified team. And Team Mustard is just hotheads. The new hot shots on the block. They really are. They, they can only win by luck, whereas Team Ketchup's trying to win by skill. We keep saying these things knowing that it's literally two bots. <laughs> and that, that's it. I don't even know if they're programmed different. Probably not. Probably not. It was 1995. They didn't exactly have extensive... Uh, uh, AI back then. Much better than 1984, I can assure you that. Well, yeah. Lest we bring in that green fuck any more than we already see him. Team Relish. 
Maybe that's why Team Relish isn't here, because he just sucks. It's awful. <laughs> Terrible for everyone. He was old and decrepit in 84. Fast forward 11 years. He's Team... just the shell of a man. Team Relish has pickled. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hard curve. Team Ketchup just totally curled right around Team Mustard and is en route to scoring a second point. Well done, Team Ketchup. Look at me trying to pretend I know what's going on. Yeah. So I, I was telling Otter Kate about the skunk line and how uh, just visually setting up the stream, trying to get it around that skunk line. She, she <laughs> quite hurriedly informed me it's not a skunk line. That's not what it's called. <laughs> what is it called? I was curious about that. She didn't exactly follow through with it answer or at least one that i remember so i think it's called a hog line h-o-g so it's just a different animal yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like skunk line because i play cribbage Ooh. team ketchup utterly dismissed two rocks for some inexplicable purpose you suck team ketchup Go back to the vat. Come on, ketchup, where's your head? Where's your head at? What is ketchup? Ketchup is tomatoes and vinegar, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I would throw tomatoes. Among other things. I would totally throw tomatoes at ketchup. Boo. Boo. You suck, ketchup. Or tomatoes and, and vinegar and sugar at it. <laughs> and all the spices. And all the spices, just throwing them all on the rink. It's just all dried powdered spices in your pocket, like pocket sand, just throwing it at them. Boo! Team Mustard, you rock! What's even going on here? We're in the third end and it's tied. And apparently the asterisk stands for hammer. Now, the hammer has its own special set of rules, of which I don't know. I was going to say, at the end of the game, the winning team gets a sledgehammer. And there they break go. all the pucks of the opposing team. Just completely uh, vindicates everything that they've wanted to. 100% decimation. <laughs> I would not be surprised if this game was played by prisoners. And the hammer was a sledgehammer and the rocks were rocks. And the victory celebration is to break more rocks before going in for mealtime. It really sounds like we are in prehistoric times when we when we put it that way. It's funny because the Flintstones always showed uh, Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble. They were always on the bowling team, but they never showed them on the curling team, which would have been a lot more, you know, proper. I guess it's because the Flintstones was a U.S. show and not a Scottish show. Or Canadian show. Or Canadian show. Well, how American is bowling? As apple pie. I, I don't know what that means. I just well, then you would you would probably see them playing baseball or American football then. Yeah, and they were really centered around that bowling. Well... I don't know how... I, let me just push my nerd glasses up. I don't know how up you are on your Flintstones chronology. Oh, God, Grandpa. But it was basically a response to The Honeymooners, the old uh, TV show. It was almost a one-to-one -one animation of The Honeymooners and uh, sitcoms of that era, and so they lifted the majority of their plots from there and just plopped it onto a prehistoric setting. So the reason why the Flintstones played bowling is because uh, the Honeymooners were all about bowling. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Honeymooners were never about baseball, so the Flintstones weren't about baseball. In later, Maybe they should have done pickleball. <laughs> pickleball wasn't even really invented <laughs> back then. I can totally see that, that green judge, Team Relish, playing pickleball. Oh, God. They ever made a, uh, by the way, where are we? Oh, uh, this is uh, the end of the fourth, and it's the final rock for yellow. 
What's even oh going my God, on here? We're like almost halfway through. We're almost, almost exactly halfway through. What's uh, Yellow even doing here? Trying to take out the Red Rock with a blistering shot. Trying to remove Team Ketchup from the rink. And it looks like it's successful. And that scores three points. Wow. Way to go. Three points for Team Ketchup. Dang. They be jocks, but when they're, when they're jocks, they're jocks. When the jocks be jocking. <laughs> jocks be jocking. <laughs> Team Ketchup really seems like more clinical scientists. Once again, trying to go skill. And Team Mustard is just all about throw a rock, do whatever. Very, I, I can relate to Team Mustard in that sense. I don't care what it is I'm throwing. I'm just happy throwing a rock down a sheet of ice. Is, is this the kind of mentality you're going to bring with you when you play dodgeball? <laughs> let's You're not, like, where's the ice? Let's Where not, are the rocks? <laughs> let's not get into that. That's let's <laughs> let's stay away from that for a moment, shall we? <laughs> Could you imagine showing up with the understanding that you're going to play one game and the only game you've ever experienced in your life is a completely different game? So when you go in, you're like, how? Huh? What? I mean. People tried telling me, hey, you want a game of foosball? And I had no idea what foosball was, so I had to apply Fort Logic. Which is, as long as you get more points than the other team you win, which doesn't work for golf. No, that doesn't work so, for golf. So, <laughs> sports is wrong. <laughs> and uh, you can't always trust sports logic. I mean, ultimate frisbee. That's basically just basketball. Is it? Yeah. You can't... Once you catch the Frisbee, you can't move. And, you, and you're pinned to the spot. Welcome, Greed. We got our I technical agree. issues show, uh, uh, set up and, and sorted out, so that's good. Protected rock violation. Red will replace the rock. Oh. I don't even know what just happened. We'll have to go back to the VOD and catch that. I mean, my VOD is kind of... I'm watching and it's... Oh. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to do that, though. Did Red connect with Red and send everything out? No. Mm. Reed, you're a resident expert on curling. What, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the case. Did the Greeble get hit by the Woozouts? Wouldn't, wouldn't curling be great if Dr. Zeus invented it? I was going to say, what are... <laughs> <laughs> One rock, two rock, yellow rock, red rock. This is just starting to feel like that, again, the meme of the lady walking the old man with, like, the walker <laughs> being like, Okay, Grandpa. That's bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Best stream ever. It it'd be funny if this is the uh, the legacy stream when when I become this a super one? famous yeah and people were like so what's the moment that Tethercat really solidified his content what, what's the moment that Tethercat really nailed down exactly what you if you had to go and see any one stream to know what Tethercat's all about and then they point you to this one and I'm just they could pick literally anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. <laughs> yeah. Look at this one. He's insane. More so. Maybe the same could be said about the stream that I had this morning. Y'all were on something. I don't know what was going on. Oh my god. If y'all get a chance, take a look at Jun Kamori's. Uh, I don't even know how to Zen Zatsudan. So. Zatsudan. Thank you, Zatsudan. Uh. And uh, right from the get-go, it was it was chaotic. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Maybe don't. <laughs> oh man, Team Mustard just screwing everything up by putting Team Ketchup in a much better place with that shot. Well, <laughs> fantastic color commentating from June Kamori. Well, I'm behind. What do you want me to do? I know. Yeah. You're doing your best. I am doing my best. Thank you. You and Translation Chan. 
And greed. Greed's on my side, right? There you go. Greed, what are you, Team Ketchup or Team Mustard? Hey, it's Mini-Me. Oh, hi, Mini-Me. Have a great stream. Well, we're doing the best we can. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a time. <laughs> it's been a time. <laughs> it's been a time. The yeah. time has been had. Yeah. We're having a great time here. It's curling. Well, it's not to love. Making absolutely terrible food puns. Yeah. Hey, uh, Greed, Mini-Me, what are your favorite foods to have ketchup and mustard on? I haven't answered the question myself. I love hamburgers. Hamburger guy. I I absolutely love... I really love uh, honey garlic mustard with uh, cheddar and uh, on, on a sausage on a bun. Honey garlic mustard? It exists. Head off to the store, go buy it in bulk. It's amazing. Where the hell am I going to find that? Uh, in the supermarket? I guess I got to come to Canada. I don't think we got that here. I know. It's, it, wherever you get honey mustard, just take a look and see if garlic's on there. I don't know. I mean, I could always mix garlic into it, but oh. I don't know if it'll be as good. Oh, I think so. I think that'd be just the best thing ever. Just some garlic. Oh, honey garlic mustard. Because if you're putting mustard on, it's it's crap. Like, I don't even know what mustard is. It's mustard seeds and vinegar, because why not? Maybe I'm just making that up. But then you get honey mustard, and you're getting somewhere, and then you put in some garlic, and you get honey garlic mustard, and you're just rocking. You're ready to host. Right. God, look at this game. It's just nothing happening. It's anyone's open business in the center. Mini me, never like both, but I like honey mustard and barbecue sauce. Ooh, good. Done. We need team barbecue sauce versus team relish in the next match. Which one gets to be which? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well. <gasps> I can't believe it's 5-2 for Team Mustard. Jocks. Trying to beat up on the nerds that are Team Ketchup. I don't know, I did sausage on a bun. Wait, what's your take on that? Give me a hot take there, June Kamori. Me? Yeah, sausage on a bun. See, I've only recently, and when I say recently, I'd say within the past maybe four or five years, started expanding my horizons on food. Mm. And sausage on a bun was not something that I had really eaten a ton of beforehand. So I don't know if I have a solidified opinion about it. But I mean, it's bread and sausage. So I assume it's good in any form. And then you get to put whatever you want on it. If I were being the Yankee self that I am, I would <laughs> I would probably do a mix of peppers and onions. Yes. And yeah. then maybe provolone cheese. Oh, man. Okay, so the reason I was asking you, and by the way, Mini Me 96, have a good one, guys. You take care, have and you one, also Mini have a very good one. We're we're gonna watch some amazing curling from 1995 in your honor. Um, the reason I was asking was because if you ever get a chance to go to a sporting event, you don't even need to go to the sporting event. You can just go to the, uh, food vendor outside the sporting event. Oh, nice. Uh, hit up, hit up a food truck, hit, hit up a, like a, a sausage cart. And I, I absolutely love your idea of pepper, uh, provolone, honey, garlic, mustard, uh, just uh, onion. Oh man. Like, you're making me salivate and want to go to whatever sporting event is nearby just so I can go get to the concession stand. Listen, uh, as, and I, I'm going to, I'm going to typecast myself here a little bit. East Coast girl, grew up on the East Coast. <laughs> I was two hours away from Philly. So a lot of what I know is that kind of food. Right. There are two correct ways to eat a philly cheesesteak and it, i carry that mentality with most other like similar style sandwiches i would say please the, inform all of us i'm i am insanely curious about this please the garbage way 
which is still valid. Sometimes you want to eat like you're eating out of a garbage can. Is just just steak and cheese whiz. That's it. What? What? That's. No, that's... I'm not done. I'm not done. That is the. I need a cheesesteak as dirt cheap as possible, covered in grease, don't care where from, I need cheesesteak in my mouth right now. That's that cheesesteak. That's horrific. If you want, if you want a good cheesesteak, now I'm not, listen, I'm not <laughs> saying cheese whiz, right. like the stupid stuff from the can. I'm yeah, not yeah, talking yeah. about that. I'm talking about homemade liquid molten hot cheese. We've already talked about that a lot today for some reason <laughs> with, with my stream earlier. Don't know what's going on. But anyway, mm. the other way is what I would consider the traditional style, which is cheesesteak, bell peppers and onions, Ooh. sometimes mushrooms. I like it with mushrooms and provolone cheese. I would say that is a classic Philly. All right. Philly cheesesteak with bell pe bell pepper, onion, mm -hmm. sometimes mushroom optional but preferred, and provolone cheese. Yes. Hmm. And and steak, of course. Yes, on a hoagie roll. On a hoagie. But if you actually want to be Philadelphian, you don't even get the Philly cheesesteak, you get the roast pork sandwich. But that's a whole other thing. <laughs> that's a whole other thing. <laughs> I tell you, growing up uh, an hour and a, 90 minutes from Toronto, uh, all we had was Tim Hortons. We didn't have this Philly cheesesteak uh, uh, science. You're hurting me. No, I'm hurting me. I wish I would grow up near Philly. I, I, I'm so hungry right now after Team Ketchup and Team Mustard. I actually want to do a road trip down to Philly and just go eat a Philly cheesesteak and then come back. If you're going to go all the way to Philly without me, I'm going to kick your ass. There ain't no way that you get to go down to Philly without me. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Boy, am I hungry. I think a three-day road trip would be ideal. <laughs> <laughs> it would not be three days. It'd be a day and a half. Yeah, down and back. Okay, but who said about going back? You're just we're just oh, planning I'm to there, go to I? get the cheesesteak, and we'll figure out the rest <laughs> later. What does it matter? You're already here. Just stay the whole week. It doesn't matter. One way trip for a Philly <laughs> cheesesteak. I'll well, take once it. you eat it, then you'll never want to leave I anyway. Know, right? That'll be five dollars, sir. Thanks. You can leave now, <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir, why do you have a cardboard box, sir? Like, I need more. And I'm also going to camp out here. Forever. I ain't going nowhere, bitch. I will order as many cheesesteaks as it takes. By the way, do you have kettle chips? Oh, we got kettling here, all right. Team Ketchup and Team Mustard. Take a look at the screen, everybody. Oh, my God. By the way, the score is now 5-4 to because uh, Team Ketchup... It, Cleaned up their shitting the bed from last round, and uh, oh shit, we got two points. So good on you. It's a pretty close game. Yeah, it it really is. I'm so glad I put up the scoring onto the side, so I actually know what the hell's going on. Yeah, that helps a lot. It really does. <laughs> Did you find it on Google? Yeah, this morning I was just yeah. trying to find. I I typed in curling rule infographic, and uh, I found a whole bunch of them. This one was the cleanest. God, now you made me want Philly cheesesteaks. How dare you? I can't believe you'd do this to me. Now I just want sausage on a bun, but I want to get some bell pepper, onion, and provolone cheese. Yeah. I've never actually, uh, to my knowledge, I, I don't know that I've ever had provolone cheese. I don't even know what it tastes like. I mean, it tastes Honestly, like cheese, but... It's, it's pretty mild. I would say, if anything, the closest thing that it tastes like is either... It's like halfway between mozzarella and Swiss. Ooh. Swiss is more funky. Mozzarella is more mild. Provolone is like right in the middle. Mm. And even mm. then, once you melt Swiss, it's not really that funky. So provolone is more melty than anything else. Mm. That would work ideal with uh, food cart food. Right? Oh my God. 
I'm going to go, I'm going to take a 90 minute drive down to Toronto, find some sporting event. I'm going to ask the hot dog vendor, Hey, could you put sausage on a bun? And also, uh, do you have provolone? And now they got fried onions and fried onions are amazing on sausage on a bun. Like crunchy ones? No, no, not crunchy. Like sauteed ones. Yeah. Sauteed onions. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Food truck vendors, they know exactly what's going on. They know what's up, man. Oh, man. Yeah, sautéed onions, uh, which, you know, you, you don't want to be near someone who's already had some onions on sausage on a bun, but if you're having it, it's great. True love knows no bounds. If you are with the the love of your life and they literally just obliterated a sausage on a bun that was piled high with onions, you don't care. Oh, man. This is the best curling stream ever. <laughs> We're just talking about food. <laughs> We're talking about as well would go on <laughs> ketchup and mustard. We haven't even touched ketchup. This is all just mustard product. I would never put ketchup on sausage on a bun. I don't, I own ketchup. I, not its place. I don't actually even put ketchup on anything. Really? Not a, not a anything? Not really. I, I, I would rather put anything else. I have so many other things. Barbecue sauce is an amazing substitute for ketchup. I don't know about that one. I don't know. You, you're looking at Kraft Dinner, Mac and Cheese. Don't put ketchup in there, but barbecue sauce is actually really damn good. Ooh, is this my hot take? Is this my hot take that I'm learning right now? Maybe. Now that we're sitting here? Never put ketchup. Like, anyone who does omu rice and they're like, hey, uh, moe moe kyun, and they put ketchup on omu rice is doing it wrong. We gotta go moe moe kyun and put barbecue sauce on that shit. And oh my God, it's just delectable. I don't think you're going to like me for this opinion. I don't like barbecue sauce. June Kalmori, everybody. Thanks for coming <laughs> out. That's, uh... You son of a bitch. Kaboom. Oh, she's gone. Oh, no. Where did she go? <laughs> oh, my God. I find... Listen. I find that most of the flavor palette that exists in barbecue sauce is simply too strong of a flavor and therefore does not really match with anything that I personally eat most okay. of the time. Yeah. So I just, it's, it's not, it's not, I'm sorry, Green, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's, it's not something that I enjoy eating. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, now I've, I've experienced barbecue sauce from places that are just supermarket fair all the way to like the rib fest, the award winning rib festivals that tour around the continent. Um, it, it's, I like barbecue sauce better than I like, uh, sriracha, racha, sriracha. I don't like that sriracha? stuff. Sriracha? Yeah, I like that. Wait, wait, sriracha, racha, sriracha, sriracha? Thanks, translation chan. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Poor translation chan. Poor translation chan. <laughs> She's doing her best. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like barbecue sauce, but I've I, I've tried some of the sriracha and stuff, and eh. What's even going I mean, on? I'm not even the biggest fan of sriracha either. Yeah. I'm very picky about my condiments that I enjoy. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll pretty much eat anything at least once, maybe twice, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I got a bottle of sriracha that's just doing nothing. Maple syrup's good. Maple syrup barbecue sauce is amazing. Well, yeah, duh, you're Canadian. Yeah, maple syrup anything is amazing. <laughs> Team Mustard uh, scored one on that, and after all the rocks are said and done, Team Mustard got one point. Dang. I bet you feel good about yourself, don't you, Team Mustard? Very official. Shut up. Yeah, we're talking. We're talking food here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like our maple syrup opinions, or me calling out Tether Cat for liking maple syrup just because. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Team Canada versus Team America in the battle of uh, eating foods, yeah. <laughs> Man. Wild. Wild. Oh, God, I accidentally hit something. Oh, God. Okay, I'm fine. 
Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, barbecue sauce on sausage on a bun is just delectable. I mean, I can see it working. I just much prefer, like, <laughs> having condiments that are not not just, like... Not liquidy condiments, because you would still consider, like, sautéed peppers and onions as a condiment on the sandwich, right? It's just right. not, it's not a liquid condiment. Right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you put it, well, molten provolone. Actually, I don't know how molten provolone is, but... I mean, it's not pure malt. Like, it's not it's not sauce consistency. It's a melted piece of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's... I'm trying to do some back end. Nah, you're good. Take your time. Well done, and thank you for that. I feel like... Oh... This might actually be a hot take. Oh, please throw your hot take at me. I'm, I'm curious now. So I love fish. I eat all kinds of different fish in basically any style. I just, I, I love fish. Right. Um, how do I put this? So normally shrimp is served with cocktail sauce, which I do like. I like cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce is good. Most fried fish is served with tartar sauce, which I have learned to like. And tartar sauce, mwah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, you get there. It's it's a pretty good thing. Sure. I feel like other people find it weird that I enjoy tartar sauce. I really like tartar sauce. I think it's very good. It, it, it works fantastic with fish. I feel like it would mix pretty good with other stuff, too, though. It's just most commonly served with fish, but it's basically just mayonnaise mixed with relish, right? right? Yeah. So, like, why? You could put that on basically anything. Yeah. yeah I feel I like know. it would be really good on, like, a chicken sandwich. Am I wrong for that? Tartar sauce on a chicken sandwich? Um, Am I wrong for that? I don't think you're wrong on that. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get five million angry live chatters the next time that I go live <laughs> tomorrow being like, What is wrong with you? Tartar sauce on a chicken sandwich? <laughs> Quite possibly, yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think everybody else is missing out. Uh, I've, I've had mayonnaise on a chicken sandwich, of course. I've had oh, honey yeah. mustard on a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Never tartar sauce. Tartar sauce has, uh, little bits of relish in it too, doesn't it? Yeah, sweet relish. Yeah. I'd be up for that. Because, I mean, on other chicken sandwiches, if they don't put honey mustard, they'll put pickles on it. So, like, what's the difference? Wait, people put pickles on chicken sandwiches? If it's like a southern style chicken sandwich, all it is is buttery bread, chicken, and pickles. Really? Yeah, and if they want it with hot sauce, then they'll put hot sauce. Now, I was thinking sweet pickles for whatever reason. I know I've had ham sandwiches with mustard and dill pickles, and those are glorious. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's like a traditional deli style uh ham sandwich ham on rye this, this conversation is just making both of us so freaking hungry <laughs> uh, this is the best this is the best game of curling ever this is the best stream ever greed you're watching what we're gonna do every time you play curling we're just gonna sit here and talk about food i hope so <laughs> the oh alternative God. is to rely on kate to explain literally everything to us I don't want to take up her time. Exactly. If she, if she wants to join in on the food conversation, she's more than welcome to. Oh, I'm, I'm certain she's opinionated on, on her food stances. I'm sure she'd inform us how she feels about barbecue sauce versus, uh, versus maple syrup. Oh, boy. She's Canadian. She'd love maple syrup. Let's face facts. 
What is it? It's two to not. Oh, we're only halfway through the seventh. This is. Yeah, we can tune out a bit. We're getting there. It's fine. So really, if if uh, going back to mac and cheese, if I like barbecue sauce or even maple syrup at times, but barbecue sauce on mac and cheese, and you're not a big fan of either barbecue sauce or sriracha, sriracha then what uh, what would you put on mac and cheese as a condiment that would be on that line of uh, barbecue sauce or maple syrup? I don't really put condiments on my mac and cheese. That's the thing. If I want something on my mac and cheese, I normally tend to just put breadcrumbs. No, oh no, no. That's about it. You can you can flavor that condiment style up. My Well, I mean, sometimes what I will do is instead of mixing in the cheese packet, I'll just cook the noodles and um, I'll fry chicken mm. and then I'll make it into uh, buffalo chicken pasta. So yeah. I just put buffalo sauce and ranch. Oh, buffalo sauce. That's like barbecue sauce, though, isn't it? No. Okay. No, no wait, 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 wait. I clearly don't know what barbecue uh, uh, buffalo sauce is unless I had it at a rib fest and I, I'm ignorant. So explain to me, what's a buffalo sauce? Buffalo sauce is the hot sauce styled in Buffalo, New York. It is, uh, it's not too spicy, I would say, but it can get very spicy. And it's mostly known for how, like, tangy or sour it is as a hot sauce. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's normally pairs well with ranch, which is super creamy and herby. I see. That actually sounds pretty good. It is good. Buffalo chicken pasta slap. People will make buffalo chicken dip, and that's also really good. There's options. Does sound good. <laughs> Once again, uh, drooling, eh? <laughs> Gotta make you buffalo chicken pasta, I guess. Yeah. Buffalo chicken pasta. Now, yeah, that. But now I got to go into the store, and I guess it'd probably be in the same rough general area as uh, barbecue sauce. I'd have to go and find some buffalo sauce. Yeah, I mean the most popular brand name is Frank's Red Hot, but there, there, there should be all these like store brands and stuff too. Mm -hmm. Or it'll be like listed as wing sauce, like buffalo wing sauce. Because that's mm. the most common way that you'll find it. it. It's a it's a sauce for wings. Oh. Okay. But see, normally if I want wings, I get garlic parm. Or I do my actual hot take and I get them from a Chinese takeout place. Oh, that'd be nice. Huh. Sorry, my brain's just thinking of stuff. Hmm. You're, are you are you thinking and like doing all your options in your head for what you're gonna do after this stream? No, 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 no. I'll, uh, believe me, uh, thinking of food is uh, uh, top tier, and then curling is second. I gotta admit. <laughs> the though I should take a look at this game since it is curling after all. Let me see where we are. It's, uh, oh crap, we've finished, we're at the end of the, I think we're at the end of the 8th. Oh, we just finished are the 7th. No, end no, of 7th. End of 7th. And it's 8 to 4 for Team Mustard. Uh, that's not great. Well. Oh well, Team Catch-Up can catch up on this one. Oh god, this is so bad. Team Mustard could also... Mustard. <laughs> Team Mustard just shitting the bed on that throw, throwing it right down the rink and clearing it. Team Mustard is... Oh, I got what they're doing. Team Mustard is just trying to get through this as fast as possible. There's no strategy. If Red tries to score, Team Mustard's just going to knock them right out. Oh... Yeah, here's Team Catch-Up, and they're going to try and be all stylistic and, you know, figure things out. Planting a guard. 
This is the final round, the final end, so I figure we should try and pay attention on this one, maybe. Kind of, just a little bit? Maybe kind of just a little bit. But yeah, depends if if Team Muster just throws a blister and takes out uh, catch up on this one, then we know exactly what their game plan is. And it's looking that way. Oh, you'll enjoy that throw when it hits uh, your much delayed VOD. I'm waiting. I want to see it. I, I need the excitement, please. You'll get the excitement on this one. Oh, almost, 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 almost. Oh, wow. He really zoomed right past that. Totally. He did a zoomer. My goodness. So that was a botch on Team Mustard. Now just Team Ketchup has to score four points in this, which isn't unfeasible, really, but not likely. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to play out. Can we make a Team Mustard shitting the bed? What's a, what's a good Team Mustard squirted out of a bottle? Like, what What can we... What? I don't... I don't know if I like any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Team Mustard expired that shot. No. The best before date on Team Mustard was in the seventh end. I don't know. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Tommy. We're just having some good old food fun here. Hi, Tommy. Welcome in. <laughs> we're at the uh, we're at the end of the the game here, and rounding up on the end of the stream, but. I think we've got all our food hot takes out of the way. What do you think, June Kamori? I think for the most part, yeah, unless you want me to repeat myself. <laughs> no. Well, hey, you got you got six stones to repeat everything that you've said as far as uh your food update. Um, there's only two correct ways to eat a Philly cheesesteak, but if you actually want to be from Philly, you should eat a roast pork sandwich. The correct way is to eat it with <laughs> bell peppers, mushrooms, onions, and provolone cheese, but you can also get away with doing cheese whiz. Uh, Chinese takeout wings are better than American style wings, but if you're going to eat an American style wing, go for garlic parm or buffalo. Uh, barbecue sauce is not my jam. Sorry about that. I prefer honey mustard over regular mustard, and I normally prefer ketchup on my hot dogs. How about that? Is that good? You did, did I do it? You did it within six stones. I think you, <laughs> you, you get the curling award. You get hammers everywhere. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I get the hammers. Now I get to break shit. <laughs> Actually, I wonder. I can... Let me just look at my... Uh, where's... Can I... There's my hammer. Check it out. I got my hammer. Oh my god, I forgot you had it. <laughs> I got my hammer going on here. <laughs> Darn tootin'. It's oh a, my lord. The best kind of Tether Cat stream is a hammer stream. I don't have any hot takes. Uh, barbecue sauce on mac and cheese is amazing. Uh, if you're going to get a sausage on a bun at a sporting venue, you should get one that has sautéed onions honey garlic mustard and shredded cheddar that melts on the bun that's basically my two hot takes i think those are good now yeah. tonight for dinner i am totally gonna do that i'm gonna head up to the i gotta go to the grocery store anyway but i'm gonna invest in some provolone get some bell peppers some onion oh it's gonna be glorious sounds great that's the goal. That's the end goal. That's the ambition is to uh, make as many sausage on a bun. Our end goal has nothing to do with curling. We're just talking <laughs> about food. This is the best curling game. Best curling this stream ever. This is the ever. best. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And it's all because of Team Ketchup and Team Mustard. What would have been better names for team names that would have made for an even more enjoyable stream? 
Listen, if you had named them Cardinal and Canary, I would have gone full environmentalist on you. So maybe it's best that it was just ketchup and mustard. So hot take, who's better, a Cardinal or a Canary? Yeah, I can totally see that being... A better bird? Excuse you. There is no better bird. All birds are equal, except for Canadian geese. Those guys are mean. I saw some Canadian geese there today. They were just crapping all over everything. Yeah, they poop on everything, and they're mean, and they chase people. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they're, 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 I, I, I think that they represent the worst of Canadians. Unfortunately, regular normal Canadians apologize at everything. Oh, what's that? Oh, sorry, I didn't. Sorry, sorry. Canadian geese, they don't give a fuck. It's the Canadian inner monologue. Yeah, it's what they want to say. The Canadian inner monologue is projected outward with geese. Yeah. Uh, what would other good team names be? Team, team Charizard versus team. Abra. Abra? That's the only... <laughs> I was trying to think of a yellow Pokemon. Abra is the only you one I could think of. You could have said Alakazam, at least. Just Abra? That guy just runs away. He's just a little guy. Pikachu? Wait, hold on a sec. Wait, I was... Th isn't Charizard a starter? Or is that Charmeleon? What's, what's a starter? Char it's not Charizard. Because then you got Char Drago or something that's the big one, right? No, that's not <laughs> Charizard is the big one. Oh, jeez. You know, it's been a while. <laughs> I I only played Charmander. Charmander. Team the Charmander versus one. Team Abra. That's a, that's an. I'd extra. rather you just say Team Pikachu. Well, yeah, Pikachu. Because at least yellow. Pe people, yeah, <laughs> Pikachu is. <laughs> <yellow>. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that happened. Oh my god. There you go, everyone. That's an extra. It's Team Charmander versus Team Pikachu. Not Team Abra. Oh no. Why am I the one teaching you about Pokemon? Because there's only 151 of them. I, I only know a few. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> There's only 151 Pokemon. We're at the final stone of the game and the final end here. Team Mustard is winning 8-4 to four against Team Ketchup. Team Ketchup has to get four points in this round, and they only have one stone. So that's going yeah, to be a little difficult. For happen. Could work, although it would take something shy of a miracle. And all they could do is just get Yellow out of the house, just like a teenager well. at prom. Game over, yellow wins. There we go. Congratulations, Good Team job, Mustard. Good job, Team Mustard. You did it. <laughs> you did it. This is the uh, this is the greatest celebration in Canadian curling ever. Once uh, once again, I'm gonna pull up rules. We were playing by Canadian rules, not world rules. World rules would be so much more hard. I don't know how. Olympic. Olympic rules. Let's uh. If you continue, does it do a little musical ditty? Does it show a screen of uh, enjoyment? Let's take a look. Nope. Back to the original. Pro Curl, 1995. I want, to, uh, I want to thank everyone for showing up and chatting. I want to thank June Kaomori, YouTuber extraordinaire. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in and playing along. You made it uh, very enjoyable. Well, thank you so much for having me. I know we had some scuff, but you know, such is life. <laughs> scuff indeed, and such is life. Uh, and everyone who's uh, joining along at home, uh, go play some curling. What are you doing here? There's no, you know, here. no, you shouldn't encourage them to play curling. You should encourage them to go get the sausage and a bun. <laughs> everyone, go grab a meal. And whether or not you have team ketchup or team mustard on your side, remember that I will always relish the time we spent together. Get a roast pork sandwich. Make me proud. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Have yourselves a good evening. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>